And, and where's the fourth musketeer? Where's Samantha? Oh, um, she's no longer with us. Well, fans didn't have to wait long to find out what happened to Samantha Jones on the new Sex in the City revival and just like that. If I end up old and alone, it's all your fault. Oh, Charlotte, sweetie, we're all alone. <laughs> HBO Max dropped the highly anticipated series at midnight on Thursday and within minutes, beloved characters Carrie Bradshaw, Miranda Hobbs and Charlotte York address the elephant in the room the absence of their pal, Sam. Oh, it's been forever. Do we hug or bump elbows, sign language, smoke signals? <laughs> Where are we these days? And, and where's the fourth musketeer? Where's Samantha? Yeah, the revelation goes down with the help of a guest star fans will remember well, Bitsy Von Muffling. Oh, um, she's no longer with us. No, 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 she didn't die. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I'm so sorry, no. I just meant she's not with us. Oh. She's in London. Oh, thank God. After the horror show we've been through, I just assume anyone I haven't seen in a while has passed on or gave up and moved to Palm Beach. No. The fans be given a satisfying storyline as to her whereabouts. I, can't, I mean, I can't speak for the audience. They have to have that experience themselves. I think what's wonderful is that we have a writer and actors who love that character, who love telling stories and being in situations and environments with Samantha. Um, and we're really lucky we have those memories and that experience. The ladies have lunch and get into the nitty gritty of why their friend really isn't there with them. You know, it is kind of like she's dead, Samantha. We never even talk about her. Well, what is there to say? I told her that because of, you know, what the book business is now, it just didn't make sense for me to keep her on as a publicist. She said fine and then fired me as a friend. She didn't fire you. Okay, she stopped returning my calls. You know Samantha. Her pride got damaged. Which was why I kept leaving her voicemails, asking her to please call me back so we could talk about this and fix it. And just like that, Samantha's absence is explained. Look, I understand that she was upset, but I thought I was more to her than an ATM. You are. She was embarrassed. So embarrassed she took a job and moved to London? Wait, have you spoken to her? No, neither has Charlotte. I mean, we texted and called, but we never heard back. Of course, the premiere of And Just Like That comes after Kim Cattrall, who played Sam in the original series, made it clear she would not be returning to the franchise. Back in 2017, the 65-year-old actress told Piers Morgan that she and the cast have, quote, never been friends. I remember so clearly making that decision. And last December, I got a phone call, and it was concerning that. And the answer was simply, thank you. But no. And she told E.T. she would not participate in what was then thought to be a third film installment of the franchise. I feel that the most important thing is always, do we have something left to say? Do I want to spend it doing something that I've explored to the fullest and let that go and continue with something? Do I want to come back and revisit it? I think it's about the story, if there's something more to say. But Sam's presence is still felt in the new series, even if Kim isn't involved. In fact, in the second episode, her character makes a touching gesture to Carrie during a difficult time, showing she is still very much a part of the storyline. We knew Kim wasn't going to do the series because she had, for her reasons, finished playing Samantha. So then it was the beginning point. Rather than ignore it, we decided to make it part of the story, and we did everything we could to honor Samantha, who we love, the character, and we know the fans love. No one could be another Samantha. And at the New York City premiere on Wednesday night, E.T. spoke with the show's leading ladies about Samantha's storyline. I personally feel very pleased with how we've handled it. Yeah. Um, I think Michael Patrick uh, cares deeply about handling it with respect, and I feel that, that we have. And I feel that it's very real, and I relate to it just from from being alive, you know, for as long as I have been. So could Kim still make a return? What we needed, three single gals back on the town. Cynthia told ET fans probably shouldn't hold their breath. I think that Kim has made it really clear that she's done and we've heard her and, uh, but I think that, I think, yeah, I think we deal with it really well, I think, and really, really creatively. 